Everyone, Alex from Red Time, and we're in the Philippines, and um, it's my first stop. I've only been here for a few hours, and already found a store. So, this is Heroes by Maxi Collector, and uh, what we're going to do is have a quick look around and see. This. I'm going to try not to talk too much because I haven't got the uh, microphone and I've got the light on, so we'll have a little look around. Uh, what we got here? So, I'm sorry, I had to put the uh, light on because some of the pieces inside are a bit dark. Uh, so, what you got? is you've got the uh, Cool Props Predator 2, massive, massive piece, uh, apparently made for the uh, original casts. And you've got these uh, little sideshow busts, which I've actually looked at quite a few times before, uh, they're a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, then that's the notorious kind of PVC uh, wolf Predator bust, which um, I'm gonna have to have a look at that close up when I get back inside, but again, I'm not that impressed with that and then mass Predator bus. I'm gonna go through these quickly because otherwise I'll be here all day. Uh, here is the uh, uh, King Alien, that looks quite nice, little cute one. And then this also is the, uh, I think it's the uh, Toy Army uh, ECC um, little piece. This is one of their unique lines. So what we'll do now is we will head inside. Alright, so we come inside. Um, again, I'm going to go through these quite quickly. So you've got the Prime 1 bus at the bottom, uh, a few hot toys and smaller pieces there, Bunko Pops, Lego. Ooh, hello, we've got a Robocop poster at the back. Hello, I'll have a look at that in a minute. <laughs> a few more Bunko Pops. And then uh, what we've got here is this is the uh, Prime 1 uh, classic movie tells and these actually look really nice these look a lot better than the modern ones i think i think the uh kind of prime one paint style really actually suits uh these pieces i think these look really well i've got my light on so these um are going to be a little bit bleached by the light but in person these actually look really really nice actually very impressed with these ones um george and i got to see the uh modern ones in um prague a while back and i think these are uh, much more superior in quality personally uh you got a barrel rug at the back i think that must be must be wetter or a side show a few smaller sort of little pieces here uh then you've got the uh side show skeletal which i know george has been looking at for a while and uh, evil lynn and then you've got the um one fifth uh t800 and uh recent back so john connor even and then you've got some uh, 3A pieces at the top. Got some XM up there. So you've got the XM Black Panther. Actually, you have a few small pieces there. And then you've got the uh, sort of General Giant. Um, a few bits down there. They got the um, Wolf Predator bust out. And um, again, this is in the light, so this makes it probably look worse than it is, but it is pretty bad. It's just that this all is really, really flat. It's just really lacking depth in the paint. And then all the inside of the mouth uh, is kind of lacking gloss. The funny thing is I do think on the screen it probably looks a lot better than it does in person. Uh, these are quite quite flimsy and cheap as well. Um, yeah, I think so I should really kind of drop the ball on that. Uh, at the back you've got this um, Kratos. This I think is the one third PlayStation one. And then you've got a few smaller pieces here. Uh, to actually do the terminators. So you've got the ECC, uh, ECC chip, a few busts, and then you've got the T600 at the back. A few smaller pieces here as well. The new Avenger assembly line there. So you've got the Captain America and the Iron Man. And then you've got a few, again, smaller 1-6 pieces. Right, and then you've got the uh, Macquarie pieces at the back, and a few kind of smaller pieces here, uh, legendary scale bus, and you've got the Chronicles here. I'm going to have a closer look at this Robocop, because I am a Robocop whore, and I love Robocop, so I'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Um, then you've got Django uh, Fett there and the Sand Trooper. Sand Trooper's actually really nice, uh, really digging the weathering on that. And then in the background, you have the Aragon, uh, which people say looks a bit like Nicolas Cage. Um, again, I'm looking at this and then looking at it through the camera, and I think through the camera it does look a bit better. Um, 
I just don't. I know a lot of people say these are pretty superior pieces, but I, I don't really, I don't really buy it. I don't. I don't know. I mean, uh, he's got real, real hair there, and real media, but I'm not really sold on them. And then you got some of the Court of the Dead. See so these here, and you got that one, the Red Death, which I think is probably the most horrible one out of all of them. Uh, and then you got. Tuscan Raider, that's a super nice piece. Actually, you've been very tempted to buy that in the past. And then the old Apocalypse. Uh, ECC, Alien Bus there, and uh, Kingpin. And again, a few smaller pieces up to Lord of the Rings stuff. The Cobra Commander. And there. There you go. There's a few DC pieces here, back to Sideshow. I've actually reviewed all of those. Still super impressed with the uh, the media on this. It's probably one of the best media that Sideshow have done, along with actually Cobra Commander. Uh, got some XM, so you got the XM uh, She-Hulk, uh, Sideshow Loki. We actually don't know that bad from here, but again, I'm going to have a closer look in a minute. And then you've got the red version Archangel. Obviously, he's too big to put the wings on. Uh, Pinhead, uh, Mysterio, and... Um, I can't remember his name now. Uh, Moulin Rouge. Moulin, Moulin, <laughs> Moulin Rouge. Um, I can't remember his name now. Moulin Rum or something. What was his name again? Do you remember? From uh, Indiana Jones. Um, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, got the Vader. That's actually really nice. Black Cat. And then that. And then these are the sideshow set. There you go. There. I still prefer the original ones of those. You got them there. And then you got the Two Face Prime one at the back. The face is really nice. The thing with that is you would like um, kind of with that kind of Two Face. Cheers, buddy. With that, oh, look at that, the flesh on that looks really nice as well, the kind of like blistered and uh, kind of shine you get from when, from the burn, that's that's really nice. But with this kind of, um, this kind of character, this, I don't like this sculpted, I would have preferred all of this in media, I think that would have looked a lot better, but that burnt face, the burnt um, effect has done really, really, really well. I do quite like that, if I can focus. There you go. And then you got the... Uh, Legendary Scale Doom, which again is a super impressive piece. I actually quite like that. Uh, I'm just going to go Marcus over this. Oh, not Marcus. Um, this is from Underworld. Oh, not Marcus. This is. Uh, uh, the Lycan. That's it. Needs a bit of manscaping. <laughs> All right, then over here, <coughs> got some of the cool props busts. <coughs> so this is the uh, Alien Resurrection bust, and this actually is quite well done uh, for the film. I don't really like the design in the film, but it's actually done true to the film as well. And it's actually got uh, when you touch it, actually feels feels quite horrible. <laughs> and then you got the uh, the other bust here, uh, the blue version of the warrior um, I'm not impressed with the paint on that one uh, then at the back got all the sideshow ladies and I've, I'm glad to see there's not just us who had problems putting that safe in glad uh, oh we've got an XM1 smuggled in there so uh, black cat and uh, the Stanley Lau piece as well uh, then you got the um, XM battery bill, which is a huge, huge piece. Lady Sif by Sideshow. Iron Fist XM, again, which is really nice as well. And then this is quite funny because uh, I saw this earlier, and uh, Bane is here, and he, he is absolutely massive. It's um, really cool to see Bane next to the lizard because I have the lizard in my collection, Geo has Bane. Uh, whenever I go there, Bane looks massive. Whenever I'm at my house, Lizard looks massive. And uh, Bane kind of dwarfs 
lizard. So that goes to show how big he is. And also that darkness at the back is a massive piece as well. And they both kind of make him look more uh, of a manageable piece, but he's had, none of these pieces are easy to display. Um, then you've got Killer Croc, which the seam doesn't look as bad here. It does on camera, but it's, uh, I still agree with Geo that this thing's unnecessary, this splash. Um, then you've got the Sideshow Armored Batman, kind of rend. And then the half scale Armored Batman there, these pieces are massive. Um, C-3PO, uh, Superman, the head on that's really nice. And then you've got the, the um, pieces at the back there, the uh, Sideshow ones, the Red Suns. And then at the back you've got the uh, Cinema Cat. Reeves, which uh, again, I'm, I'm not, not digging that. I know they're quite old pieces, but I'm not really digging it. Uh, come forward, you've got the Marcus, which is absolutely phenomenal. That Marcus is amazing. I love that piece. And the thing about that is when you look at it, because it's, like, it's a kind of translucent red in your resin, you kind of see uh, it looks like it could almost be like a foam latex silicon. And then when you kind of like touch it, you feel it's, it's solid. And uh, yeah, super, super nice. Really, really nice. I'm so glad I never watched London while I tell you that. Bit of Adam West cheesy action there. Focus on him. Green Lantern. And this is a new one. Um, yeah, no comment on the uh, base there. That's a story for another day. And you got the uh, Harley Quinn, Prime One, and uh, the Robin Hood. Oh, Robin Hood. <laughs> The uh, Robin with his hood up. Sorry, I was going to say, and this is super nice. This this Robin is is really really well done. Really super impressed with the Robin. I actually prefer the Robin. I think I prefer the Robin to the Harley, but the Harley gets more love. I do think the Robin's probably done better. Uh, XM Boba Fett. And what we do is so uh, you can see. There's a few bits down there, so there's like a life-size Yoda, the water white, there's uh, Sandman, um, then there's a few others down there. There's actually the Iron Studios diorama, the Dark, uh, so Doomsday versus um, Superman, which actually doesn't look too bad, uh, but I can't get in close to see it. Uh, Medusa, Hulk, Craven, a bit of Amparella, and then you've got, the, got a collection here as well. That Groot, uh, Groot is a massive piece. And also the um, the bullseye actually looks much better in person. It doesn't look bad at all, and that sells really cheap. Uh, and then finish up with the smaller pieces there across there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.